Hello guys, welcome back to Maison African Motives, still on Meccano Techniques and for uh, in this platform, we shall be working on uh, hydraulic systems. Okay, so this is actually hydraulic systems, guys, uh, from the question paper of November 2022. All right, so uh, this is a nice topic because it's all about your formulas. You need to know all the laws, the rules, and the formulas that you're given and how to apply the formulas. That, that's it. Okay, so we're not going to waste much time. I just want you to see how you answer these typical questions. Uh, like uh, from this one, we are given on 6.1, fig four below shows two reservoirs. So we have got A and B. The pipe is 3,2 meters long, all right? The difference between the two reservoirs is three, 35 meters. Okay, so this is your HF, all right? Uh, which is your friction head in this case, which is the five uh, meters. Assume that the flow rate of the water in the pipe is, so we are given the flow rate, which is our Q. So Q representing flow rate, that's 0 0.65 cubic meters per second. And the coefficient of friction, okay, take note if you are dealing with the hydraulics, the coefficient of friction is no longer written as that one that we saw previously in on belt drives. No, it is now represented by F. So the coefficient of friction is the small letter F like that which is 0 0.004, all right. So this is what we are given in this case. And uh, we can just write our length of the pipe in meters. Uh, this is 3,2 to meters, you multiply by 1,000, which is 3,200 meters. All right, so we have uh, also, we said we've got our HF here, our HF, which is 35 meters. Okay, so the question is on calculate 6.11, the diameter of the pipe. Okay, so this is a circular pipe, as you can see. So that means there is a diameter in this case. So what you do is that you are supposed to work with your formulas. All right, which formula can you use with this information? Remember that the friction here that we have, or the head loss that we have, uh, which is this height, the, the, this, this height that we have, which is your HF. Okay, let me say this way because I'm now uh, combining oh, the fluid mechanics there with the, with the mechanical techniques. So just, just, just pardon me guys for that. Okay, but it's one and the same thing anyways. Okay, remember that our HF is given by this formula. HF is equivalent. There are so many formulas for HF. So I just want to use the one for mechanical techniques, the one that you're given in your formula sheet. It's given as FL Q squared over three comma, uh, 0 to 6 uh, d to the exponent of 5. So if you're going to continue with the, um, your, mecha your, me your mechanical department there, or in N5, uh, where we are, shall be having, or if you're, if, if, if you're doing fluid there, you're going to see that the formula is going to be written in another way. There are so many ways that you can write it, okay? But I'm just going to focus on this one. So this is the formula that we have, which consists of the diameter, d, where we can calculate our diameter because we have all this information. So all you need is to insert the values or to make D the subject. So that's the easiest way for me is to just make D the subject, okay? So make D the subject or transpose, okay? So I'm going to transpose. So we can just cross multiply. That's HF times uh, 3 comma, which is 3 comma 0 to 6 D to the exponent of 5 HF is equivalent to one times this part, that's FLQ to the exponent of two, which is, uh, we can divide by 3,026 HF, okay? Uh, 3,026 HF, that means this can cancel. You remain with the D to the exponent of five. All right, so to remove to the exponent of five, remember you introduce the fifth root. So this is going to be the fifth root of, F L Q to the exponent of two over three comma zero two six H F from your mathematics. I think guys, this is clear. All right, so now we can just substitute our values. We have our D or we have, so that we can have our D in this case. So that means our D is going to be uh, the fifth root of, so that's the fifth root of F, which we say it is zero comma. So that's zero comma zero zero four times, L, which is the length in meters, 3,200 
3,200 times. Q, which is the rate of flow, the rate of flow, that's 0, uh, 0,65. So this is 0, 0,65 squared. Everything over 3.0, uh, 3.026 times HF. So this formula you are given in your formula sheet, guys, okay? So your HF, that's 35 millimeters. Okay, so from this part, you can have your D. Make sure that you use your calculator properly. You're going to obtain something like 0, 0,5. Five five one five nine four something like that. Okay, which you can round off to three decimal places, which is zero comma five five two uh, meters. All this was in meters, so this answer is going to be in meters. All right. So we are not given to calculate in millimeters, so you can just leave your answer like that. But you can even convert to millimeters if you want by just multiplying by a thousand. Okay. 6.12, the hydraulic gradient, which is given as I. So remember that I is the, the ratio that we have between HF and what? And this length that we have, okay? That's your hydraulic gradient in this case, okay? So remember, guys, from your gradient concept, okay? So that's the change in uh, Y over the change in X. So this is 6.12. All right, so on 6.12, we are asked to calculate the hydraulic gradient, which is I. So I is equivalent to HF over L, okay? The change in Y over the change in X. So your change in Y is your HF. Uh, then we are going to divide with L. So this is going to be uh, HF. Remember, uh, we have from our information, HF 35 L, 3,200. So this is 35 divided by 3,200. Okay, so for 35 over 3,200. Okay, all right, all right, something like this, 3,200. Okay, so that is going to give us the hydraulic gradient. That's something like 0, 0,010937 and so on. So the three decimal place, you're going to have 0, 0,01. Uh, one, so this is going to be one. Nine is going to change this zero into one. Okay, so that's your hydraulic gradient, which is uh, a constant. So that's what we have in this case. Um, on 6.2, so everything was done there. Okay, we move on to 6.2. We are now given that a venturi meter with a throat diameter, 140 millimeters, that's the smaller diameter that we have is uh, 150. 140 millimeters, so we've got 140 millimeters, which we divide by 1,000, 0, 0,14 meters. It is in a pipe with a diameter of, so this is the diameter of the pipe, all right, which is uh, 230 millimeters, which is something like 0, 0,23 meters. The discharge rate of pipe, which is the rate of flow, the, the discharge, which is Q. So your Q, that's, 120 liters per second. But remember that one cubic meter is equal to 1,000 liters. So to convert to cubic meters, you divide by 1,000. So if you divide by 1,000, this is going to be 0, 0,12 cubic meters per second. All right, use the coefficient of delivery of 0, 0,96. So we're given uh, the coefficient of delivery which is CD, okay? So our CD, the coefficient of delivery, it's 0, 0.96. Assume that the Venturi meter is a mercury manometer. So this is going to work uh, uh, later on. I'm just going to show you when you're calculating these heads, okay? So this is a mercury, okay? Calculate the mercury head in a manometer, okay? So take note, for you to have uh, the mercury, Head, which is our H1 for mercury in this case, it is going to be uh, the head for water. So we're going to have our head for water over 12.6. All right, so you divide by 12.6 if you are dealing with a mercury. So that means uh, in this case, we can calculate H for water. All right, by calculating H for water, then we can have H for mercury. Okay, so where can we have this H for water? All right. From our formulas, Q, I remember that from your rate of flow, Q is equivalent to, let's have our formulas, Q is equivalent to CD, which is the coefficient of delivery times, there are so many formulas, but I'm going to, um, I favor this one too much, 
a times a over, so you can write a times a over the square root of a squared minus a squared times the square root of 2gh, which is velocity there. All right. So this formula, I favor it a lot to calculate uh, anything from this formula. Okay. Whereby CD, we have A is for the area from uh, the pipe, which is from this D. A is for the area for the ventilator throat with a throat diameter of 0, 0,1 for this one. Then 2G, then this H is the one, the head for water. So this is the head for water. Okay. So which means we can calculate H from this one. Okay. So I want us to calculate our areas. Uh, we have diameters, so we can calculate our areas. Yes. So let us just do this. All right. So let's calculate our areas here. From this information, from this D, remember that area is equivalent to pi D squared over four, right? So this is over four. So that means you're going to have pi times D squared, which is 0, 0.23 squared over four. All right, so this is the area that you're going to have from the pipe, and we are going to obtain 0, 0.042, uh, if we round off to three decimal places, square meters, you calculate the area for the small letter D, which is the one from the venturi meter there. So the area is going to be pi D squared over four. So this time I'm using smaller diameter, so which is 0, 0,14. So that's pi times 0, 0,14 to the exponent of two over four like this. Okay, so we are going to obtain something like 0, uh, 0,015 square meters. Okay. So we have our areas in this case. So we can just substitute in this case into the formula. Okay, so our formula, we are given that Q is equivalent to, so we are going to calculate H so that we can have the H for mercury. So Q, that's the rate of flow in cubic meters per second. 0, 0,12 is equivalent to CD, which is 0, 0,96 times the bigger area with which is the one for the pipe which is uh so you just multiply this area 0, 0,4 and that one so you multiply them together here all right so this is going to be 0, uh, 0, 0,042 times the area for the smaller which one which is 0, 0,015 uh, okay take note under there is the square root of the same areas, but now they are being squared and subtract. So it's just squaring 0, 0,042 squared minus this one, 0, 0,015 squared times the square root of 2GH, which is uh, the square root of 2G times H. Okay, our G, remember that's gravitational acceleration of 9,81 times H. So I'm going to show you a tricky part, just the, not a tricky part, but just something easier for you to calculate this one. Okay, the easiest part, guys, is that you calculate, okay, this one we're going to leave it as it is 0, 0,12. You calculate this part, 0, 0,96 times this part, everything times. So here you find time, you multiply to square root of two times 9,81. You separate this. So you're going to calculate this part. So this part here, put a square root, make sure that it's inside the square root. So you, this part here, the, the one with the two and 9.81, make sure that it's under a square root. So you're going to obtain uh, something like 0, 0.07, okay, to, just to two decimal place. Since uh, this one is to two decimal place, I just used two decimal place, okay. That means you are going to remain with the edge under the square root because you simplify the square root of this number, but H was still under the square root. So you are going to have square root of H like this. So now to find H, you can divide both sides by 0, uh, 0, 0,07, uh, 0, 0,07. I don't know the, 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 the rounding off that you have done. Uh, even three decimal places is fine, but since the other one is already in two decimal places, we can just utilize something like that. Okay, so since our square root of H is equivalent to 0, 0, uh, 0, 0,12 over 0, 0,07. To find H, remember this is a square. So to remove this square, we are going to square both sides. So you square both sides to remove the square root. Remember from your mathematics, this cancels. So that means our H 
in this case is going to be, if you simplify properly, we are going to obtain something like 2,93877 and so forth, which is going to be 2,939. Okay, because that was 877, okay, which is going to be nine in meters. Take note everything, all the height that we had in meters. So this is going to be also in meters. But remember, this is the head for, for water. And we said to find the one for mercury. H mercury is equivalent to H water over 12,6. So that is the formula now that we are going to apply to find the one for mercury. So remember, we said H1, which is for mercury, uh, in this case, is equivalent to the H for water, which is 2,939 over 12,6. So that's how, guys, you simply play around these formulas, guys. That's how you have to do. Play around with your formulas. Understand your formulas. That's the best thing. Okay. So anyways, you are going to obtain something like 0, 0.233 in meters if you divide properly. So that's the head for mercury. Okay. So uh, as you can see, guys, it was pretty easy. Uh, not pretty easy, but it was an understandable question that you can play around with formulas. So as we are going to be revising um, all question papers, I shall be coming with different formulas uh, to attempt these uh, same questions. But as for me, that's the favorite formula. Uh, I'm just going to show you in, an in another video again with another question, how to apply this same formula to calculate anything that you want from that formula. It can be diameter, it can be area, it can be this. Okay, but that's what we had for now, guys, for Mason African Motives working on uh, Meccano N4 till we meet again.